Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand the dynamic input in AutoCAD. So let's look at the dynamic input in AutoCAD. So here we have a three lines tab customization. Just open it. So here we have a dynamic input. So presently it is on. So let's suppose I want to make a line. So when you take the line and start the line, so it will show you the angle as well as the length of the line. So this is the basically funda of the dynamic input. So when you want to make a line at an angle of let us suppose 20 degree and the length of the line is 200. Just write here 200 and press tab button on keyboard. It will come towards the angle and just press 20. So it will make a line which is 220 degree from your reference point. So this is the benefit of that dynamic input. So now we will see when dynamic input is off. So here we have a symbol. If I close this, it will be off. So let's take a line now. So it will not show me any coordinates or length of the line and angle. So this is the benefit of the dynamic input. So here we have a symbol. You have to make it on again. Take a line. It will come like this. So this is the benefit of dynamic input. Sometimes it will be off randomly. So sometimes students will think that our AutoCAD is not properly installed. Uh, they will installing again and again. So if you are not watching the coordinates here like this, so it means your dynamic input is off. You have to make it on with the help of this symbol. So when it is shining like this in blue, so it means your dynamic input is on. So I hope you understand this video. If you like this video, please comment in the comment section. If you have any query, kindly give the queries in the comment section. Be happy and thanks for watching.